Well, greetings and hello there, everybody. It's me, your beloved Star Wars dad, Nooch Too Good. And with the recent release or, or data mine of Lightspeed Bundles coming out on May the 4th for Gas and Padme and Geos and Night Sisters and Ewoks for 3PO, the question becomes to mind, and a lot of people have been asking this and pointing it out and saying it like, is there is there anything, is there any, is there anything left to farm in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes that will not soon be a Lightspeed Bundle and uh and just upend all of your plans and just leave you with you know well i just spent three months or four months farming the gas requirements i got it almost ready and boom there's a bundle so my farming's out the window and i think we could talk a little bit about you know um how to feel about that how to, how to understand it i can't tell you how to feel and that's one thing i've learned over time no one can tell anybody else how to feel but i can kind of talk about the implications of that how you can you know how it can reflect on your life for sure so are any of these farms safe? Well, to take a look at that, the first thing we have to do is look at which farms have been, you know, uh, what's the right word? I don't know, revealed or or delivered so far. You know, what is out there as far as stuff that's now available with Lightspeed Bundles? And I think you can say with everything we've gotten so far that Palpatine and Yoda have been covered. We've got enough Rebels and enough Jedi. I know we got Old Ben... And then we got, uh, just recently, we're going to have Gas. We're going to have um, Jedi Knight, Anakin, and Ahsoka. Yeah, you might have to farm another Jedi or two. But I think we can say that we've covered these two for sure. Thrawn, the Phoenix were released. Um, that's covered. Uh, we haven't really had any Empire. We have Piet in the... No, we didn't have Piet. No, we, we haven't had any Empire released so far. Although, if you give me Palpatine and you give me Thrawn, and I've already got... Well, and Darth Vader was in the finalizer bundle couple more empire and you got r2 covered we got the bb8 bundle that was a very one of the very first bundles we got no cal Kestis, that's a brand new journey padme cls except for stormtrooper han ray jedi training ray best garmando and the chimera we got the we got the phoenix ships in the shadows empire bundle so all of these journeys have been covered just they're just done they you know they could release them in a new form you know we could get the cls bundle with stormtrooper han included or we could get the Chimera bundle with some more rebel ships or something, but I mean these farms have been They're out there. These journeys are out there. Star Killer is out there. Uh Chewy, there there were bounty hunters released with the finalizer bundle. Maybe not all of them. Well now Django's out there. So now we've had um Django and Bosk and um who else? Uh Cad Bane and Boba Fett have been released in Lightspeed bundles. Is there another one? Beskar Mando's not... Oh, yeah, Mando and Grief. So, yeah, we have got enough bounty hunters to get Chewbacca. We've got a specifically a 3PO bundle. we got enough rebel ships. Excuse me, we've got all the bounty hunter ships. We did not get IG-2000 yet. So, IG-2000 has not been released. So, we've got ourselves about 75% of the way to the Falcon. Uh, no Revens. No Revens. Um, and, and we got Starkiller, obviously. That was one of our first bundles. These three, we didn't get Grand Inquisitor. So, uh, Grand Inquisitor was first released in uh, 2020. So, the Grand Inquisitor kit reveal was July 2022. Starkiller's kit reveal was December 2021. So <clears throat> there's a little a short gap in time there, but Starkiller is the most recent, you know, journey that's been re released in the game. Then, of course, we haven't gotten Executor. We have ourselves about halfway to Executor with the finalizer bundle, but not the full Executor release. Profundity, not Leviathan, um, not Darth Malak, and not the Revens. We do now have the Gas bundle released, and we don't have a Jedi Knight Luke bundle per se, but Shadows of the Empire was kind of a big deal toward Jedi Knight Luke and Jedi Master Luke. It was a big chunk of stuff that you needed for both of those, I guess. Um, we didn't get Re Rebel Officer Leia Grenade. We didn't get Captain on Solo. So it was a chunk, but not the chunk. So we did not, I can't say we had a Jedi Knight Luke or a Jedi Master Luke bundle officially, but I really felt like the Shadows of the Empire gave you a lot of stuff that you would not want to farm that you need, that you need for Jedi Master Luke. So, and we had Kylo and Rey, obviously. And those are the bundles that have been released so far. Guys, uh, that covers pretty much everything. Except for the Revens and Malik. It covers pretty much everything 2021 and earlier. Executor was um, August 2021. So we haven't had Executor yet. Um, and we haven't had, you know, Sith Eternal and Jedi Master Luke were in, were in October 2021. Um October 2020, sorry, and Ray and Kylo were in March of 2020. Think of that. March of 2020, they released the kits for Ray and Kylo. 
seven months later, they released the kits for Sith Eternal and Jedi Master Luke. So they just rushed right into it. And then Jedi Master Kenobi was in June 2021. So it just kept going. It was like you know, relentless. We've kind of slowed down here in the recent past of Galactic Legends, but these guys were released fast. So we, we've had... There really aren't a lot of journeys left for bundles to cover, except for the Revens. Um... I guess we could do Grand Inquisitor maybe down... I feel like Grand Inquisitor is still not going to be this year. I feel like Grand Inquisitor is like a next year type of light speed bundle. But I do think over the rest of this year, we'll see We'll see Revens. We'll see the Executor all the way. We could see Profundity. Eh. Um, you could get a Malak bundle where you take... Where maybe the Revens, they give it to you at Gear 12. I don't know. The Malak, they give it to you at Relic. I don't know. Something like that. Maybe. If you look at Galactic Legends, I think we're going to get Sith Eternal and probably a more comprehensive Jedi Master Luke bundle by the end of this year. So, and we're only seven months into this. We started in October and it's now May. We're only, well, eight, eight months into Lightspeed bundles existing at all. And we've covered all these journeys, plus Night Sisters and Geos. So I think the only reasonable conclusion is that I think we just have to ac accept the fact as players in a game, whether you're free to play or you're, you're farming, you know, uh, you're farming stuff and paying for some light, some light speed bundles, or you're doing pure light speed bundle farming, like my account here, Nooch2 Light Speed. We're going to buy all the bundles along the way. We're going to base our farming around the bundles. We're going to do some extra farming along the way, like Jar Jar that we're doing right now. I think we have to accept the fact that if you're going to be farming these journeys, they're going to eventually be out in light speed bundles. And if you look at some of the older journeys, and I'm going to tell you right now, if you're going to farm the Revens in the near future, you can expect that they're going to be in a bundle by the end of the year. Just expect it. It's going to happen. And then don't come grousing to me because I'm not going to feel any pity for you because I'm telling you right now what's going to happen. I think Executor's the same way. I think it'll be out in a bundle by the end of the year. We'll probably get a Jedi Knight Luke bundle of some kind and Sith Eternal Jedi Knight. So, and now we're getting Geos and Night Sisters. So that looks at teams that are out there that, you know, are older teams that aren't even part of Journeys. And I guess the Geos are kind of part of a Wat Tambor journey. The Night Sisters are part of a Secrets and Shadows. But you could be looking at characters like, um, well, we got the Negotiator now, right? We got the Negotiator, so we could be looking at the Malevolence. I would, I would think that's just kind of an automatic. I think there'll be a Malevolence bundle at some point later in the year. And if you kind of think about that, it maybe comes out with like a Grievous and Malevolence bundle. Maybe get the... We already got the Separatist droids, though. So what would that come out? I guess it might just come out on its own. Here's a Malevolence bundle. And Grievous is part of it. The way that Je you know, General Kenobi is part of the uh, Negotiator and uh, and Gas bundle. So that's going to be another one that's out there. But if you, you look at this, I mean, you could look at maybe a Sith. Uh, maybe the Sith with Treya. There could be a bundle for that. If you're looking at teams that aren't included as part of Journeys. You know, Treya, the Sith Triumvirate is one that could be out there, I guess. Um, I don't think Leviathan's coming out anytime soon. I don't really know. I, I, it's hard to measure, but I just, I just want to say the Bad Batch could be out there as like an independent bundle. We kind of got partial Lord. This is like a partial Lord Vader bundle we're getting right now with Padme and and, and uh, Gas in there with some other requirements as well. Um, but we could end up seeing like a Bad Batch bundle at some point. Um, I mean, as you scroll through. We talked about a lot of these already that are that are out there, and you can see they're on my account, of course, because I'm buying all the Lightspeed bundles. Imperial Trooper bundle, that could be a thing. Maybe a Jawa bundle down the road. I don't know. Um, and, and part of the reason, I think, for the recent bundles is we're going to have a raid coming out soon. They're giving you a bunch of Galactic Republic and Separatist characters. That'll be good for the raids. So th that fits in there as well. Um, I don't really see a lot of Tuscans, maybe. There's not a lot of super duper... It Big Mandalorian. Maybe there could be a Mandalorian bundle with with Gar Sax and Imperial Super Commando, but we've kind of gone through most or all of it. Uh, you know, there's not a lot left aside from more recent journeys to release in the bundles, and I find that really fascinating. That we are literally we started these eight months ago, and I think you can expect that if you're farming something, it's going to be available to bundle later. So. If you're going to keep playing the game and you're going to be avoiding lightspeed bundles or you're going to be buying lightspeed bundles, it's it's just going to be... And, and yeah, we can debate whether the lightspeed bundles are good for the game, and I'm getting some folks together this week to do that. Um, I, I think we can say that if you're farming something in Star Wars Galaxy Heroes, whether it's a journey or an independent team or whatever you're putting together, an Iden Versio team, whatever it is, you can expect that it'll be out in a bundle at, at some point in the next couple of years. And I don't know, I don't know exactly how this is going to structure and put together... Um, as far as bundles in the future, but 
Just expect it. And, and if you expect it to happen, then it'll be a pleasant surprise if it doesn't happen. But you can just you can just not like sweat it when it occurs. Maybe you get like a solo bundle with um, Emphis Nest and, and Young Han Solo and Land. I don't know, but um, yeah. So I, I think at this point, and I really, I've, kind of, I've kind of been meandering here a little bit, but I think it was, I think it's good to kind of put the thoughts together every every now and then. We kind of do the thinking live here on a video, but well, you can see me doing it. If you, if you want to farm stuff that's not going to be in Lightspeed Bundles anytime soon, you're left with all the most recent stuff. You're left with Dr. Afra. Uh, you're left with maybe Grand Inquisitors, Jedi Knight, Cal Kestis, uh, uh, Jar Jar, and uh, Profundity and Leviathan, Bo-Katan, um, Leia and Jabba. I don't think there'll be any bundles anytime soon. I think that next year we'll probably see Jedi Master Kobe and Lord Vader. Um, if you want to farm something that's not going to be in a bundle anytime soon, I think that those are the things you're left with in the game. Otherwise... It's, it's just a fact of life now. So if you're going to play the game and you're going to enjoy the game, I'm going to suggest that you play the game and enjoy the game. And you're just going to have to get used to the fact that there may be a Lightspeed Bundle out pretty soon for the stuff that you've been farming. And you'll just have to deal with that and realize that you just saved yourself 25 bucks or 50 bucks or whatever bucks that you would have spent in the game otherwise. So there you go. There's my thoughts on are there any teams you can farm right now that uh, won't be Lightspeed Bundles? There's a very few and they're the most recent ones. Other than that, everything is just being just being knocked out here by Capital Games. And by the end of the year, we'll definitely have Revens and Executive. That stuff's going to be out there. I don't think there's any getting We still have so many iterations of the Lightspeed Bundles to go through the rest of this year. It's insane. It's it's giving everybody big catch-up mechanics. And I just can't help but think that there's some kind of big change down the road for the game. That they're getting everybody caught up so they can just drop some gigantic new types of characters or types of something into the game. That's just going to change the way the whole thing works. So... There you go. That's my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts as well. I will definitely talk to you soon. And of course, always remember, it's too good.